Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Today I've got another legendary location guide for you guys and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get the legendary support relay class mod. So to do this you're going to have to pick up a mission called Two Arms. You get it really early on in the game and uh, it tells you to go to Triton Flats and find the weapons drop. So this is a pretty long mission really um, and I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it, all that's uh, about and uh, everything to do with it really. Uh, you can speed it up um, by keeping as many white weapons through the story as you can but basically you're going to come to this little vendor here and it's going to tell you that you need to donate common quality weapons 50 altogether they are white weapons only so you need to go off and farm as many of them as you can and once you do you can come back and uh, hand them in and once you've handed them in as you can see i'm going to hand in 10 now you can only hand in a maximum of 10 at a time uh, and basically in every single time you donate 10 uh, basically they get stolen or you get a little challenge to do or things like that so there's five parts to this whole thing but there you go I've deposited the first lot anyway and uh, then Papa Crust actually pipes up and says that they've been stolen so the first part of the mission is to go back and uh, collect six weapons crates basically all you got to do there is just uh, take down a load of moon buggies and when you do they'll drop the weapons crates so uh, go ahead and pick six of them up and then go and hand it back in so then you donate 10 more and then it will tell you to come and take the weapons from the scabs that are over in the uh, near the crisis scar area of Triton Flats. So you take them down, pick up 10 weapons and then take them back. Third part, after you've donated 30, you're going to come to uh, near the bounty board in Triton Flats and uh, pick a PLA member who's arguing and kill the other two. Nice and simple, you've got to listen to them ramble on a little bit. But once you do that, you can uh, just go and kill them and uh, then go back and hand 10 more weapons in. Uh, quite repetitive this but finally after you've handed in 40 weapons you will get told to defend the donation center from a load of scavs and sugar roofs and things like that have yourself a little battle and then go and hand in the final 10 white weapons once you get to 50 you will uh, be told to go to concordia and witness the revolution so uh, you'll come to the back near where crazy earl is <coughs> at this red thing and basically the revolution is he's used all 50 of your weapons to make this lovely piece of art uh, and that's basically it really then you go and hand it in and once you've handed it in it is a mission reward so no one time only farms or anything like that anyone can do this anyone can get this legendary and there it is the support relay class mod so uh, quite a long mission really but at least you guaranteed a legendary at the end it's one of the very little quest rewards where you actually do get a legendary but there it is max gun damage per O2 stack max slam damage so this thing improves O2 capacity by 25 and gun consumption rate by 20% for every player equipped with a support relay so uh, it's definitely a team one really as well and it provides go bonus gun damage for each unit of o2 you have so while you're inside you'll get a lot more gun damage and as long as your oxygen stays up uh, when you're outside you keep it as well so uh, yeah that's it anyway guys that is basically the easiest way of how you do it um, i'm going to be doing a video on how to actually speed farm for this now i know that sounds strange but uh, it's a good little tip of how to get them 50 white weapons very quickly uh, using a little chest that's very fast to get to so be sure to check that out uh, it speeds things up a bit but that's the longest part of the mission anyway it's really grindy you've just got to go through my tip is from the, you know the moment you start this game just keep as many white weapons as you can on you keep them in the bank things like that because when you get this mission start it as soon as possible and uh, just go through the storyline pick up white weapons as you can just return them here and there you know but uh, yeah, that's it anyway guys, hope this has helped, if it has be sure to leave a like, if you're new hit that subscribe button for more good videos and uh, drop a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you about it. So uh, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you in the next video.